Now that we have the conditions all set for launching missiles, we need to take care of updating the missiles that are in the air. Like in the 2D game tutorial, we need to have a method that loops through all of the missiles and updates their position by their velocity, and also checks if they need to die, in the case that they're out of bound. Let's make this method now. Find the Get Missile Muzzle Position method you created. Go to the end of that method, past the last right curly brace, and add a new line and create this method. Void Update Missiles. This is a void method. It doesn't need to return anything. The first thing we'll do is loop through all of the missiles. Add the following for each game object missile in missiles. We'll loop through each of the missiles. Now add the following if missile.alive missile.position plus equals missile.velocity if missile.position.z less than negative 6000.0 missile.alive equals false. We'll check if the missile is alive. If it is, we'll move it along in the 3D world by adding the velocity vector to its current position vector. Remember, Adding vectors is like moving along a path. We're moving the position along the velocity vector to a new position. Finally, we need to see if the position has gone out of bounds. This is sort of arbitrary. We define what out of bounds is. Negative Z is away from the screen. Based on the clamping values we gave the missile launcher head, all missiles have to head in the negative Z direction to some extent. So having a value of negative 6,000 for Z, which is pretty far out there, is a good choice. If it's farther out than negative 6,000 on the Z axis, then kill it. That'll do for our update missiles method. And we're short two right curly braces, so add those to close the for each and the method. Last piece is to make sure we call this update missiles method. So find the update method. Find your calls to fire missile. Don't go down further than that. You want to make sure those calls to previous state equals gamepad state are the last things you do. Add a new line just before previous state equals gamepad state and add the following call. Update missiles. That was easy, huh? Okay, we're nearly there. Last step is to draw the missiles on the screen. 